Bonner Boy performance in Dallas is one big thing that a lot of people are really talking about. I think we need to dive into the story and speak about it at a point like this. I still got something coming in from Fuse. Producer Fuse started at a very young age. He said he started at 13 years old, you know, meeting ID Kabasa. I think we need to speak about it also. Before I dive in proper, I still got something coming in from the side of Davido right now. The timeless album of Davido is still getting a lot of accolades for that but recently he was given a plaque he was given a plaque in paris and that was from the past that is what a lot of people are responding to if you are new here you can click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos buju in a recent interview said black sheriff will be featured in his uh, recent album and a lot of people are waiting for that you need to understand that it will be collaboration always happen between Nigerians and Ghana and that is another approach that Ghanaians need to use to plunge themselves into the main pole of Afrobeat in Africa. You know, so from time to time a lot of people come out to say yes Nigerians are too domineering in the Afrobeat sector they are not helping others to grow but that is a big lie. The likes of uh, Libyanka, the likes of, of uh, Jackie and a lot of others like Black Sheriff will tell you that Nigerians have done a lot for them in the past. Let's listen to a person of Buju on that. I still have to finish my song with uh, the record I want to do with Black Sheriff. Oh, yeah, wow, um, yeah. nice. It's going to oh, be an album. Yes, I really, to as it. soon as I could finish that, definitely, I, I definitely put it on the album. We need to listen to a person of uh, Black Bones. Why Black Bones is so angry with the likes of David O, with the likes of Ashake and Kanye West, a lot of others, because these guys have been disturbing him at a point like this. He said each time he tried to pull out a project there, an album out there, or a song out there, some of these most influential artists who always influence the chart will come out and dominate and that has affected him uh, psychologically to an extent and he says something that a lot of people are using stream farms because he cannot really phantom how to put himself on charts let's listen to him on this one in 2020 when i announced my mr bombastic album kanye west decided he was gonna drop the same day in 2021, when I announced my Sex Over Love album, DJ Khaled and Ariana Grande decided they were going to drop the same day. The year after that, I decided to announce my Young Preacher album. Drake decided he was going to drop his album the same day. The year after that, I announced March 31st. The video decided he's going to drop it the same day. Somewhere in between, I announced the date. Ashake said, I'm going to drop that day. Y'all niggas need to cut that shit out. I've announced May 12th. May is the fifth month of the year. 12th is the 12th day of the month. The recent statement of Black Bones is targeted at a person of uh, Ashake and Davido because of their domination on Nigerian chart. That is one thing I believe about the story. Remember that a person of Black Bones came out to say yes, these guys are engaging the services of uh, stream farms and that is why they are streaming themselves up the charts. But quite a number of persons didn't agree with him, the likes of Don Jazzy and a lot of others said you have to work hard, don't be lazy out there, blaming your downfall on stream farms. The performance of uh, Bonner Boy is one big thing that is at heart right now. A lot of people are showing some kind of uh, concern about that, while some other persons giving out accolades, some people are saying that Bonner Boy is always energetic on stage. But one thing I understand about Bonner Boy is that I think he has a good management that promotes tours for him. He was able to conquer the American airline centers in Dallas. I think that is a big one. That is a big story. A lot of people are really responding to Burner Boy at this. Let's have a glimpse of Burner Boy performing in Dallas. He did performance of his last last hit single and also alone. I think Burner Boy, when it comes to stage, is one of the best performers on stage in Nigeria. That is something I kind of understand about Burner Boy because of his stage presence and he understands the craft. I think coming in from a musical home has helped Burner Boy a lot. Fields is coming out to say at 13, I met I.D. Kabasa and started an internship with him at 14 and that made me 
being who I am right now. I think uh, this guy is one of the best producer in Nigeria and also one of the best music artists. You've got to understand that at the age of 16, he was able to produce a hit song for Olamide first of all. I think right now this guy is giving us an insight to how he started it all. I met Kabasa at 13. I started the internship at 14. Good way to finish, you know, secondary school. Mm -hmm. The day I stole his password, it was like break breakthrough. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, to do what? Uh, to log in and work. <laughs> you know, when Kabasa is in the studio, we log in, give them tracks. Did he ever catch work. you? He did. Though. Recently, a person of David o received plaques for his, his single called Fall in Paris. I think right now this guy is still ripping from the past. That is what it is. And right now he's pushing timeless like an upcoming artist. And a lot of people are really jealous of this. Let's have a glimpse of that. <laughs> Guys, before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos. Thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. I love you guys. Keep supporting Afrobeat Blog. Keep watching us across social media platforms.